great storyline. The, the Indian woman, uh, women have really uh, put in the time and, and gone around the world and trained. And they have a, a heritage now that now they're, it's their time to start winning gold medals. We'll see if it's tonight. Marulis for the United States in the red. Anshu in the blue and white. Early attack by Anshu toward the side of the body of Marulis. We'll see Anshu continue to try to circle around, get to the backside of the American, has the leg trapped up. But Marulis underneath, not letting go of the left arm of Anshu as the two continue to cartwheel in the center of the mat. Remember, to get a two-point takedown, you have to cover the hips completely. Marula's doing a great job of squaring up and never giving up that position. But Anshu, tight snap, a tough snap right off the get-go to pull down Marula's head. Very, very strong watching Anshu yesterday. She won the Asian Championship in Almaty. That was at this weight, 57 kilos. Relies on the heavy hands, relies on those snap downs. Gets to her ties. Trying to dig in an underhook. Marula's swallowing up the head. Marula's gives a crack at a snap down off the head tie, the collar tie. And you hear Coach Perry in the corner. You have the best technique out there. Really encouraging Helen Marulis to, to attack. Uh, you saw her just think to go to that foot sweep, and Helen Marulis, when she gets to that foot sweep, it's danger. So a passivity given to Marulis. She goes on the activity clock. First time we've had it tonight. If you're new to wrestling, left-hand corner. You see the clock by Marulis' name. If that expires, you're going to see a point given to Anshu via the passivity. American coaches letting Marulis know exactly how much time remains on the activity clock. It looks like Anshu is going to get the point, and she will, as we are two minutes into this first period. Marulis comes firing at Anshu. Anshu does a good job of putting on the brakes. Now she repositions the American, but they were grounded. No points awarded. Cross grain single by Marula. She went shot to the back leg. She's going to, but I like the fact that she is attacking. Anshu's really impressive with her hands in her head right now, getting into the face of Marula and not giving her a minute to breathe. She's been active. Hadn't taken a lot of attacks, but been very active, controlling the center of the mat. And if you're on shoe in the opposite corner, this is exactly the type of match you wanted coming in. Absolutely. She has controlled the pace. Action blue. Blue passive. Double overs here. Let's see what Marulis elects to do with it. And first passivity warning on Anshu. What she's also doing, Helen Marulis is pushing into Anshu because she wants Anshu to push back. That's where she's really good no with her fingers. hips, her foot sweeps, and her activity really baiting Anshu to move forward. Low scoring first period, but it's India with the lead, a one nothing advantage over Helen Marulis, who just turned 30 last month, Anshu. A young Asian champion, it's a family heritage for her, took up the sport back in 2012 as she followed her family into the sport of wrestling, really admires the Japanese star, Kaori Icho. Watched a lot of her matches, tried to duplicate her style. Marulis is a story of perseverance, making her return this season after recovering from some serious head injuries in the past. And when you look at her run at Tokyo, she quite frankly did not have a lot of international experience prior to the Olympic Games. Had the Pan Am qualifier in 2020, she was solid. Had a battle in the U.S. trials with uh, Burkett and then took a couple of losses in the Poland Open. But again, as athletes get older, they get better right there. And beautiful second period, readjusting, pulling, pushing, snapping, and going behind for two. Working on the uh, arm here as she 
Tries to seal up the arm bar, spinning down low underneath is on shoe. Can Maroulis get a turn? And Maroulis is gonna get the exposure here. Now the question is, can she get it to a fall position? The American looking for her third world title. Painful position underneath, Maroulis has it. There's the fall for the United States. Number three for Helen Maroulis. A lot of the American women are fantastic on top. You look last night at Adeline Gray, now Helen Maroulis, the, the, the pillars of our sport in women's wrestling in the United States. And she gets to that arm bar and drove Anshu forward. Some medical attention with Anshu, and that was the arm that was in the clamps of Maroulis. Hate to see this toward the tail end of the championship of what was one heck of a run by Anshu. There have been so many highlights in the career of Helen Maroulis. For me, it's going back and that run she had in Rio at 53 kilos and denying Yoshida of Japan her historic fourth Olympic title and to overcome the concussions and the other injuries and to get back on top, the near miss in Tokyo and now the world championship here in Oslo. What a story. And as always, Helen Maroulis, a respectful competitor, understanding, and probably wanting to celebrate her world title, but not a allowing that to be disrespectful to her opponent. And there it is. The hand is raised. Helen Maroulis, a world champion. Let's hope that Anshu is all right. She goes over to the United States corner. You cannot deny what she has accomplished this week. So close to becoming the country's first gold medal winner, but it is Maroulis behind the second period fall that will get to wave the red, white, and blue. about the best ever in the United States. And, and obviously there's some Japanese women who have, you know, are, are on the Mount Rushmore of women's wrestling, but Helen Maroulis, Adeline Gray,